Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, The Magical Maven. My name is Heather, and today I am doing a timeless love reading for the sign of Aquarius. So this is for singles and or it's complicated situations. Um, with the other signs, a lot of it's complicated situations have been coming out, but we will see what comes up today. So if it resonates for you, um, you know, but if it doesn't, um, or, you know, if only pieces, you know, just take what resonates. Also, um, if when people ask what your sign is, that's just your sun sign. You also have other influences. So for these, I'm making it for sun, moon, Venus, and rising signs. So you could always look at your other influences, like the moon, the Venus, and the rising. And that way you could get like um, a broader perspective or, you know, more of a story of, you know, what's, you know, going on for you. Because, you know, you and another Aquarius won't have the exact same story. And there are different situations that usually will come through. So again, just take what resonates. Um, also, you might be drawn to more of, um, or another video might resonate with you more, you know, you know, maybe at, with your moon sign or your Venus. So um, you will just have to, you know, go by what you are most drawn to. And if you do listen to all of them, you know, which, um, what you could take away from it. So jumping in. And this is a timeless reading, so even though if this is for mid-August through mid-September, if you're watching this later, it just means you were meant to watch it then. And also, too, if you do watch this and then it doesn't make sense and later on it's like, oh, this is making sense, you could always rewatch it. So what is a the theme for Aquarius? Worth waiting for. Okay, so for my single Aquarians, you know, maybe you feel like I'm like getting like lost or giving up hope or I don't know. It's like maybe some of you like aren't really sure, you know, if romance is in the cards for you or meeting someone new. You're just kind of like, but this is kind of showing um, you to like have faith that things are working in your favor and it's showing divine timing is at work in your love life. So it is worth waiting for. So just because you don't have it now doesn't mean that you won't. So let's see more for a theme for Aquarius. Retreat and make the effort. Okay. Okay, so one thing I'm getting, it doesn't have to be for everybody, but some of you might have retreated from a conflict with someone. And I'm getting like you're waiting to like pop your head out of the woods, you know, so you're like, oh, is the coast clear kind of thing. So with making the effort, um, there might be someone that you have it's complicated thing situation with. There was some conflict, you retreated or they retreated, something happened and you're kind of wondering if you should knock on their door. And for others of you, you might have, you might be someone, if you're single and there's, no, you know, no one that you are involved with, it might be like, you know, you might be more of a recluse in the sense of, you know, you keep to yourself, um, you know, you don't really go out there dating wise. So it's kind of showing you need to make an effort to go out there and get out there, you know, so maybe, you know, you know, ways to, you know, go meet others, um, you know, other singles, because you might have, like, you might be more like, okay, like, you could go out, but it's like, okay, it's a work thing, or it's just with friends, and you're not looking around, or if you do, again, you might not make the effort, you know, it's, I'm getting, like, this closed off energy, you know, being very within yourself, and I understand with Aquarius, you know, it's, you know, Aquarius is an emotionally detached sign. So it's not the easiest placement wherever you have it in your chart to be emotionally open. You know, it's not really in your nature, right? You know, like Aquarians are very independent. So it's, you know, more natural to just do your own thing. And that's not to say that you can't have, you know, a connection because your first card was worth waiting for but if you resonate with being that Aquarius that I just described it makes sense why you know maybe it's harder for you to make an effort or you don't feel necessarily like you know even if you're interested in interested in someone you might not feel like a real need to go for it because you're like um you know 
I'm fine on my own. But if you're watching this love reading video, then, oh, okay. <laughs> so we have past life relationship and chemistry. Okay, so, so there could be someone coming in hot that you've known from a, a past life. And if you don't believe in past lives, um, I mean, it, yeah, it's possible this could have been someone that you've known in your past. You know, however, they still could be from a past life. And showing this chemistry. And typically, you know, it's like, you know that feeling when you meet someone and you feel like you've known them before. But you also have to like, you know, with the chemistry, is this like a karmic connection or is this a soulmate connection? Because they have different types of energies to them, right? And this could even be like this, if you were resonating with this person that you're retreating from this conflict, it's possible that it's this person. Or if you're single, you know, it's someone coming in. So tell me more about this person. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm feeling like a pain right now, like kind of by my solar plexus. And it kind of like just stabbed there. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so it'll be interesting to see if the solar plexus card comes out in the psychic tarot because, yeah, it could have been like your solar plexus deals with your personal power, your will, your confidence. Ooh, so yeah, it, it's gone now, but it was like this kind of stabbing pain right there. So there might be some ego in this situation. I don't know why I'm hearing healthy ego. I don't know if it's like you responding saying, oh, that's healthy. Or because if I'm feeling that pain in the solar plexus, it's not good. But we'll get back to that. So we have passion and express your love. So again, let's like make the effort, express yourself. So if you really do have a passionate, you know, connection with someone or chemistry, you feel this connection to them, why aren't you doing anything about it? And I'm getting like the ego has limits is what I'm getting. So again, like, and I'm getting something about stepping out of line. I don't know. And again, it could be about like, if you're naturally that, that type, you might feel like, whoa, that's like, you know, I don't do that. <laughs> and we have forgiving and learning and keeping an open mind. Right now, I'm not gonna focus on the bottom portions. I'm just gonna go by intuition. So, okay, so someone here could have been more of like a, learning lesson and karmic relationships are for our growth for lessons they're not meant for the long haul um so th for some people there could be two different people on the board so if there was someone that was a lesson for you you need to be more mindful of it and like open to the possibility of what they were and what they are Because maybe it's like, you know, you're wanting what you're wanting. And it's like, you know, I'm getting for Aquarius. Someone as open-minded as you in the sense of, you know, you're very... You're not limited in your thinking. But maybe in this situation, you're not wanting to see past it or to see beyond it. It's like, you know... And maybe because you feel this chemistry, and again, because you have the, the chemistry, is it karmic or is it a soulmate? Because a karmic connection, you could feel very drawn to them and you have this pull towards them. And it's not necessarily because it's about genuine love and caring, it's because you were meant to have them in your life for your growth, for your lesson. You know, there's a difference between a karmic partner and a soulmate. So that's something that you might need to 
delve deeper in to kind of, you know, learn about that maybe, you know, this person that you're feeling so drawn to isn't someone you're going to end up with that's a soulmate, but they were there for a reason to teach us something. And you're not wanting to see that. And, you know, and it might be that you haven't maybe heard of this concept before is possible too. And you're like, I don't know what that means. And I'm getting, I'm looking at this passion card and I'm getting passionate expression. Honeymoon. So I feel like, you know, it's kind of showing that you might want to do like some grand gesture. You might want to like, oh, for some of you might go visit them, like want to go visit them because maybe you don't live in the same neighborhood, you know, like, you know, meaning they're, they are farther away from you. Okay. Th this might be for a few people, but I'm getting like, some might even be in like in a different time zone or different countries. So some might be actually far from you. And it could have been something that you met like online or you know some kind of you know dating app or somewhere where you haven't met them physically yet and maybe this is part of it because okay so yeah this is another situation coming through so some of you could have met someone online or on an app or something and it's like you haven't met yet and it's like you were drawn to doing it on the tech world because it's like okay and outside you know in the real world you don't really make the effort so you maybe you've talked to someone online for a while you know, you feel this pull to them, this connection, but it's like, you really haven't gone for it yet. You know, it's like, and maybe that's keeping the open mind. You're like, well, they live far from me. I don't know. Like I, you know, do want them, but you don't really aren't making the effort to do so. So that's another situation coming through. So anything else for Aquarius, some guidance. Okay, so we have new love and separation. Okay, so again, with what I was just saying, some of you can, might be live far from this person. So they're a new love, but at the same time, you have the separation already. And that could be, yeah, very hard because it's like, okay, you're interested in someone, but they live how 3,000 miles away or wherever they live, you know? And I'm like hearing some about like physical limits. I don't know. And maybe that's why you need to keep the open mind because you're like limiting yourself because you're like, oh no, that that won't work and it could be your way of keeping yourself closed off okay. so what's a block for you deception okay this card is coming out a lot um and i'm getting some about the games that people play and i'm getting even you I'm getting something like, you know, you feeling like dating has no place or I don't know. It's something like for some of you, again, like going back to being, you know, very independent, not needing something. It's like you really haven't welcomed maybe that part of yourself into your, your world, into your being. And it's like, and it could be like a fear thing. And, you know, so you're hiding behind a mask of like, you have it all together and again, it's not everybody. But I'm not getting so much like you've been deceived and not that it can't be that. So take what resonates, but I'm getting more, it's maybe like, I'm getting maybe you feel like sometimes people don't care, you don't care, just people don't care. You could maybe have like a dreary outlook on when it comes to love. It could be something you were taught or you saw growing up. Again, take what resonates. A lot of different things are coming in. Okay, so Lover's Oracle for Aquarius. One or two cards. Yep. Okay. 
Okay, so the one that fell on the floor was embraced. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. So it's about this closeness that maybe you're afraid to share in. Because even if you are around this person or if you are around this person, you have difficulty expressing your affection. And it doesn't mean, you know, and that's not to say like you can't be affectionate, but it's like maybe your body language, you know, it's like you could show them kind of like close, you know, like being closed off. You're not so much in this like open embracing energy. Okay, and then we have soulmate and passion. So your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Passion and magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy. So you got two passion cards. So I'm, you know, I'm getting go for it. Like if this person, even if they're far away and they're wanting to meet up, they want to see you or if they haven't said it yet, but you've been talking to them, like, why don't you give it a chance? See what comes of it. You might be pleasantly surprised. Just don't have your blocks up, you know, you got that mask on. Okay, so angel answers for Aquarius. The situation will improve. Okay. okay, so some of you, if you are in this like long distance situation where someone's far away, and some of you, yeah, maybe could have met them before, and that, but you met them online, and then now you're kind of going talking back and forth, and there could have been this conflict. Okay, again, take what resonates. There's different situations, but some maybe, you know, maybe this is all you or maybe just parts. So if there was this conflict with this person and you've retreated, it's showing that things will improve. And I'm getting out, like coming out of the cave. So I don't know if that means out of your cave, they're out of their cave, or both. And I'm getting maybe some of you have certain qualities that are the same with them, like you mirror them. And that could be hard, you know, if you have two people who are very, like, independent or two people who are very, you know, emotionally detached or, you know, or who retreat when things go south, you know, that's very hard to get close to one another, isn't it? And that could be mirroring something to you. Whoa, okay. Improving health. So health is not just your physical health. It's emotional, mental, spiritual. So it would be more healthy for you if you unblocked your heart. The heart is the bridge between the lower and higher chakras. Get more information. Okay, so we'll pull another one. Perfect timing. Okay, so you might feel like you don't have all the answers now. That's okay. Things will happen in perfect timing and divine timing. But you could do your part and trust. And if you feel like you are ready to embark on some kind of journey to go visit them, you know, to try to, I don't know why I'm hearing undertake, but it's like you have some, if there's something you want to share and there's something you want to express, like you should do so because I'm getting like, yeah, you're holding it all back. And it's like you didn't, you know, you met this person for a reason. Okay. Oh my God, this card adrift keeps coming up <laughs> for Aquarius. Okay, that was a lot. Okay, let's just, one more please. Okay. And also something that was coming up too, for some people, like this deception or like this conflict, you know, this retreat past life relationship that could have been, that had chemistry that was karmic, could have been over here. And then there's this new person over here. And maybe it's like, you could have maybe let this dictate this other one because maybe you got hurt before and you're like, okay, well, I would rather hide away and not, and and risk not getting hurt as opposed to putting myself out there. So that's another situation too. Okay, so adrift, letting go, allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. 
And I'm getting for you like not being adrift because I think this is the energy you're just kind of like, again, you're not going for it and I feel like you should, but you know, it's like, it has to be within your timing, right? So you have to let go of this heaviness. Song of the siren, the call, summoning voice to acknowledge. So with this soulmate energy over here, you know, with this passionate connection, with this new love, this person that could be from afar, you know, it's like with a soulmate, you you know, they could have called you, you could have called them because it wasn't like, again, it wasn't a chance meeting, even if that meeting was online. And something about them, like, they might have like a voice, whether that's, you know, just their speaking voice or they're a singer. There's something that maybe you find really beautiful or you find peaceful in the way they speak or sing or I don't know. It's just something about them that really like draws you in. Okay. Oh, and then we have the Black Moon Astrology cards. So if any signs come up, it could be possible signs of this person or past person. And if a sign or element does come up, then it's just kind of talking about what else is going on. So for Aquarius, whoa. Okay. Capricorn. So you could have been involved with someone who was a Capricorn before or are now, um, or it could be an influence in their chart. Again, sun, moon, Venus, rising, you know, Mars even. Or also Virgo and Taurus, those are also other earth signs. Okay, so we have ninth house, ninth house faith. Okay, so what I was saying, having faith and trusting. 11th house friends. And the fire element, desire. So again, it's like, I'm not, you know, they could be a possible fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but I'm getting more of this passion again. You have like three cards of passion and one card of chemistry. So coming in hot. Okay, two and one also I'm getting as well is if you being having Aquarius in your chart, them having Capricorn, again, it's not the most romantic of the signs. And not that you can't be in your own way. It's just like, if those are kind of both your energies they're looking at, again, it could be, you know, hard to maybe get close to one another. Yeah, but you need to have faith. And with this 11th house with friends, it could be someone that maybe you even have a friendship with or you're taking it slow with, but underneath it all, you feel this passion. So maybe you haven't even experienced this passion yet. You just, it's all built up. And it's maybe something that you need to explore, but you won't know if you could explore it until you actually try to go for it. And I'm not saying, you know, obviously, you know, it's like, you know, just to, you know, throw yourself at someone or make a move if they're not wanting it. But it's like, I don't even think, you know, it's like you, you, you know, you need to put it out yourself out there is what I'm saying. And also with the 11th house, it deals with like our dreams and like wishes. So this person could have been like a wish that you have, but again, like you have to have that faith. And with the ninth house of the Zodiac, it also d governs um, long distance travel. So what I you know, said earlier about, they could be someone that lives far away. So the Psychic Tarot, so the next two weeks, so energies for the next two weeks, whoa, okay, that's kind of a lot, but we'll just take them. So we have sacrifice, which is the hanged man. And I'm getting you sacrifice too much. So maybe it's like you always put your love life on delay for other things. And again, it could be like a defense mechanism. So you're not having to get close to someone. We have victory and success, new beginnings, temptation. So new beginnings is the fool and then temptation is the devil. We have partnerships and alliances and the base chakra. So this is the root chakra and the root chakra could be um, blocked by your fear. This is the, you know, flight, uh, fight versus flight. So, and for you, it's like, obviously we're getting more of the flight energy about instead of, you know, you wanting to retreat, you wanting to escape because, you know, if this is uncomfortable for you in some way, but it is a new beginning and it's an opportunity. It's a good positive beginning for you. However, it's like, I feel like 
it's like you feel maybe this passion for them has clouded your judgment and you're not wanting to get overtaken or carried away with it. Okay, so one more card about that. Okay, so the sacral chakra actually deals with sexuality as well as desires, emotions, creativity. So you probably have blockages in your sacral chakra. Oh, and your throat. So that deals with your truth, creative expression, and stand your ground. So again, like, you do have some blockages, you know, the root, the sacral, the throat. So it's like you're fearful and you're in fight versus flight mode. You know, you have these blockages regarding your desires, your emotions, sexuality, and then you also have issue voicing them with the throat. And I feel like maybe you feel like You don't know if you're going to come out on top. You might feel like you don't know if there's like this competition or not. I don't know why I'm getting in it to win it. I don't know. So maybe they make you feel like, wow, they're interested in me. Like, and maybe that makes you doubtful because you're like, you don't know why. Why they're into you. So it could be like a worthiness thing too. Wait. Oh, didn't I say about the solar plexus? I was getting the pain in my solar plexus. Okay. So, you know, with the solar plexus, the worthiness. So that was something too. So all of your lower chakras. Yeah. I was just holding my solar plexus. I was like, please don't hurt again. <laughs> Cause I started to feel it a little bit like rumbling, like in a sense. Cause I was like, oh wait, no, it was for Aquarius, right? I don't know, after doing so many of these videos, it's like I forget sometimes what comes through because everything that comes through comes through fast and I go through them. You know, like this is my fifth reading of tonight, right? Yeah, and I did six last night. So, and a lot of energies are coming in. So yeah, I just, yeah, but I, I'm pretty sure I said this one, the solar plexus for this group. So for Aquarius, so yeah, that makes sense. So a month from now, so we have light, which is sun and conflict and despair. So it's like you bounce maybe from these energies of feeling like really good because you're like, oh, they're interested in me. Oh, I've heard from them or this, that or the other. And then you kind of go into, oh, but it'll never work. Or, oh, you know, I haven't heard from them. Or it's like kind of this like mixed bag is what I'm getting. So what can you do to help the situation, even though I already know what it is, <laughs> or well, I've already said it. Okay, wow, this came through in the last deck too, and the less reading, disruption, the, the tower. Um, so I was saying how with this deck, the tower, typically you see the tower crumbling down, but here you don't. He's like staying stuck. He's not allowing the tumble, the tower to crumble down so then they could build on new steady ground, right? So you're kind of like being stubborn and maybe not wanting, you know, because you're holding on to, you know, your ego or, your, you know, you're not wanting to get hurt. So it's like for you, you'd rather just be like, oh, well, it's not worth it or it's not going to work. So yeah, you're trying to put on this brave face. It's like heartache and loss and spiritual strength. So again, you could have had a heart, you know a heartbreaking situation from your past and it has made you stronger, but maybe it's also ma made you feel like you can't trust again or you can't open up again. And, and it's like we all experience heartache, heart, heartache, <laughs> heartache and loss at some point. Uh, <laughs> sorry, when I do these videos I'm like talking so much and my you know speech could kind of be all over the place and um because <laughs> I'm connected it's just like I think sometimes things are coming through faster in my mind than I could speak out and then things yeah so anyways uh <laughs> heartache and loss so we all experience this in our lives yeah some more than others but this is just I'm getting like the price we pay and it does, you know, we do have these lessons, these, this growth, and we become stronger, but it's not supposed to make us hardened. It's supposed, you know, to make us, you know, prepared to deal with this. 
because if you know you even if you are in a love relationship and everything's going fine but you know there are going to be times when it's hard because you know say they're hurt hurting about something and then you're hurting because you're seeing your partner going through something or you know like you know god willing if you know at some point you were with them in long haul and then you know they had passed and they're you know it's their the, you know so even if they don't do anything where you would you know they would you know where you would break up or something like that it's like with anyone you love there is an opportunity you know, there is always that pain that could come through because you do love and care for them. And there, you know, something is on the line. The state, you know, the stakes are high. However, you can't, if you can't be willing to accept that pain, you're not going to be able to willing to love. So I hope that makes sense. Okay. So any last cards for Aquarius? Authority. So this is the Emperor card. So Aquarius is a masculine sign since you're an air sign and air and fire are the masculine whereas earth and water are the f feminine. So you might be too much in this masculine energy and see how his uh, arms crossed. So that could be you. Remember what I said about body language earlier. So you could be closed off, you know, being stubborn. And normally, you know, it's like the Emperor card doesn't look like this. But again, I chose this deck for a reason. And oh, oh my God, a bunch of cards fell out. Um, <laughs> I had them in my hand here and I just, okay, well, we will get back to those. But so this authority, yes. So I think it's like maybe you're, you know, need to uncross those arms. You need to not be so stubborn and set in your ways and kind of be more open um, because even if you are a man or you're more in your masculine energy because, you know, masculine energy could, you know, be male, female, you know, same with feminine energy. And then we also all have a masculine side and a feminine side, and we're supposed to have a balance. So you might need to more incorporate more of that feminine energy. And I know it's not what you're wanting to do based on this mister, but that's what's coming through. So, okay. I'm being guided to just shuffle what's here because of some cards fell on the floor all the way over there so i'm going to leave those over there for now and one last message for aquarius so on their person that they have this passion with that could be far away what else do you does aquarius need to know about this person And I was getting sweet. Like, you think you're they're sweet or something? I don't know. Sweet was just coming to mind. Okay, so we have Prosperity Begins. So the Ace of Pentacles. So that's New Beginning again. Because you got the New Beginning full card here. We have the Truth card, which is Judgment. And again, it's here's the Throat Chakra card, which is about your truth. Material and Spiritual Prosperity. And Memories of Love. So this could have been someone that maybe you have known for a while, you know, maybe whether you were talking to them, you haven't met them yet, or maybe someone you met from a while ago, met from online or something, but, and maybe you're kind of remembering them and missing them because you do have a connection there. And it's like, but you need to like communicate this truth of maybe wanting a new beginning with them, a new start or a fresh start for those of you who did have this conflict from before. Okay, so one more for Aquarius to wrap up this reading. Okay, I said one more. <laughs> Sorry, if when a bunch comes out, I like reshuffle because it's just so one card. You know, let's have it. You know, close with this. The first card was worth waiting for. What is the last card for Aquarius to close? Again, I just want one. One card for Aquarius, please, to wrap up this reading. Intuition. This is the High Priestess. I'm thinking about, like, seeing her in all her beauty, all in her glory. And again, it, you know, you watching could be a male, a female, for a male or female. It doesn't have to be like, oh, this is a woman. And I'm being drawn to the fact of like, 
this is you and this is them. So even if you are a female watching for a male, it's just maybe you're more in the masculine energy and they're, and they're feminine or, you know, however you take it, again, it doesn't, with feminine masculine energies, it doesn't have to be in, you know, whichever body. So I'm getting that they're more over here and you're over here. So, you know, they're looking at you and you're kind of like closed off to it. So I think maybe, you know, they are open to the connection and to receiving what you're, or to what you have to say for those of you who maybe have taken some time out. But it's like you have to kind of make the move because they know where they stand and it's like, and you're just kind of like, okay, well, I know where I stand. And it's like, you're not, it's not going to go anywhere if you're staying in this energy. And I'm getting about manifesting a new beginning. So do you want to manifest a new beginning? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of getting him being like, nope. So if, if you're kind of like, okay, you would, you resonate with this, but at the same point, you're not really sure about this, just kind of go within and listen to your intuition. And again, if this is a connection that you have been, you know, was worth waiting for, that is special to you, that you do feel a pa passionate connection with, that you do think could be something, even if it's like, whatever the what ifs, if you have feelings there and you know, if you, it, it seems to be special to you, I do think you should give it a shot. Go for it. Try to talk to this person, try to see this person, however it resonates in your situation. But I think there is some action needed on your part. Um, yeah. Okay. So if this resonated, if you liked it, feel free to like, share, subscribe. I have other videos on my channel as well. So feel free to check them out with whatever ones you are drawn to. And again, feel free to watch not only for your sun sign, but also your moon, Venus, and rising. Thank you for watching.